In this tutorial and the following tutorials, we'll explore how to work with gallery stills. And gallery stills are reference images that you take of a particular shot. And you can then pull it up as a reference and a guide while you're grading other shots in the film. Let's take a look at some of the basics. In this tutorial, we'll look at how to save and also display different gallery stills. In order to save a gallery still, first move your playhead anywhere in the shot where you want to take the still from. For example, maybe we like this reference with the arm up because it matches something that we're going to be utilizing in other shots. So with my playhead on this particular frame, I'm going to go up to the view menu and down to stills and there's an option here called grab still. And as soon as I choose it, we've now got our first gallery still and I can use this slider to resize all the stills that are in the gallery. Right now we've only got one. Now one of the things that you might use gallery stills for is kind of how we already have a few looks applied in this particular timeline. That you may be setting certain looks in different scenes and you now want to store those looks so that you can reference them while grading other shots of the same scenes. So I'm going to go to this particular shot and now I'm going to start using the keyboard shortcut to store a still. The keyboard shortcut to store a still is Command Option G on a Mac or Control Alt G on a PC. And now I've stored that still and I'm going to move to the next shot that I graded and store this one, Command Option G, and keep moving along until I've stored, let's say, the various shots that I've worked on. Now typically I would store the still as I'm working on the shot or I should say after I've completed working on the shot so I can immediately utilize it in other places in the timeline. And one more to grab. So now we've got six reference stills and we want to be able to call them back up while grading other shots in the sequence. So for example, let's say that I went to this particular shot and I wanted to work on it so I wanted to reference this particular still in the gallery. So you single click on the still that you want to display, go to the view menu, down to stills, and choose play still, or the keyboard shortcut command option F on a Mac, or control alt F on a PC. And you'll notice that this brings it up as a split screen. Now you can put your cursor anywhere in the window and click or drag and you can move that split screen wherever you'd like to place it. Press Command Option F and you turn off the split screen again and go back to viewing the shot that you're working on. Now you can go anywhere you want to in the sequence and at any time pull up any reference still again by single clicking on the still that you want to bring up. Command Option F. Now by the way, if you don't turn off the still and you navigate to other shots, you'll notice that other shots appear on the one side of the split screen. So the still appears on one side and the shot that you are working on appears on the other side. Now while you're in this mode, you can start to grade. So if you do start working on something, you're going to leave the still alone, but you're going to grade the shot that is the active shot in the timeline. In the next tutorial, let's explore more about working with stills.